Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, a big misconception that has been put, put onto me and probably several people um, about things that could be considered addiction that, you know, aren't drugs, drug related. Um, and most of the time for, that I've noticed have a tendency to be a stress reliever. Now I know, that seems like really random to start with, but... Welcome everyone to another About Me video. Now the reason I said what I did earlier, or just now, I guess, is because one of the things when I was younger, up until very recently actually, that I've noticed is that I had always been marked as a video game addict, and at points in times I actually was. There were po there was a point in time in my life where I would play so frequently that I would skip out on using the restroom. I wouldn't go in and have dinner with my family. I like it, it got to the point where it was bad. I don't do that now. Thank heavens for that. Because I like spending time with my family, and I like having my bowels feel good. <laughs> TMI, maybe. But you get the point. Um, but I think one thing about all this that just I've noticed over time, addiction or not, is that for me, these kind of things have always been a stress reliever. Now, as a kid, I would not have noticed this, but I've noticed at least recently that the only times I really ever play is when I'm trying to get my mind off of bad situations. Like recently, for example, I, for the first time, actually played um, Catherine Full Body. I think that's what it's... You get the sequel to Catherine. I think it's a sequel. I've never played the original. I'm going to, but I've never done it. Um, but either way, that's a good example. Uh, recently, I actually played through it from beginning to end, about eight hours long. So it's a pretty short game, but it was a lot of fun. But there is a reason why this stuff is a stress reliever to me. And this is where it kind of gets very confusing to a lot of people. Games like uh, Catherine Full Body... Um, Persona 5, The Legend of Zelda franchise, Kingdom Hearts, stuff like that, give me perspective while playing through it, trying to clear my head. And while going through all this perspective, I come to realizations. And anybody who has seen the stuff that I put up on here, realizations, philosophy, stuff like that, really do actually clear my head. Even if it comes down to the circumstance of these things being involved with what I'm trying to clear my head about. Going back to Catherine Full Body, I was trying to clear a bad situation that was going on between me and a friend of mine. Um, and Catherine, the, the, the situation was kind of, I, I, this friend of mine, um, did some kind of damage to me that was... It made it seem like the person didn't want to have anything to do with me because of their actions, basically, they promised... So, me with promises is a big thing. Let's put it that way. This person promised something uh, to me and broke that promise by doing what they promised they would only do with me, and they did it with someone else. On a relationship standpoint, this is considered cheating. And I mean like dating relationship. Now. Why I bring that up? Anybody who hasn't played who has played Catherine or Catherine Full Body already knows where I'm going with this. The game, designed by Atlas and Sega, hits hard on that kind of topic. However, the difference is, unlike what happened to me IRL, this topic was cheating. 
And yes, that has ha somebody has cheated on me IRL. I talked about this in the past, but I'm not going to talk about it now. Because that's not what it was. It was someone else, and it was something different. But that game made me to come to terms and see, not just for this person, but for every other time I've been hurt in this sense, because I have multiple times, people... And I'm not going to rant about it. This is not a rant video. People have done that to me multiple times. It kind of started to put perspective into my mind what is going on on their end. That it's... And I actually found this out after playing the game and thinking about it for a bit, but... Cheating isn't... Is for the most part not intentional. And when I kind of came to terms with that, that's... I started to shift and calm my mind. I was still not in the best mindset, but it was a lot better than what it was prior to me playing Catherine Fulbani. This is not the first time Atlas has done something like this to me either, but that's a story for a different day. Well, where are we on time? Yeah, you know what, screw it. I'll give another Atlas example, since Atlas does give off the best examples. Persona 3. For anybody who's played a Persona game before, aside from the first two, so any of the previous three that were released, and including Royal and the sequel thing to Persona 3, come to know that throughout the game you actually gain knowledge. And other attributes like kindness and um, charm, I think there are five total. There are in Persona 5, at least. It's been a while since I played 4 or 3, so I don't remember. But I do remember this. Every single one of those three games, you build relationships. And you always have the option of multiple women to date. In all three of them. There's always that one scene. Anyway, I digress. I don't know why I started thinking of that. The game, the example I'm trying to give off for this particular game is that it always asks questions. Hence the knowledge thing. These questions presented by teachers are actual real-life facts. At least for the most part. For example, in Persona 5, one of the teacher asks you, what does, what is the Japanese to English translation of pan? I think that's how you say it, P-A-N. Pawn or pan? I don't know. I have to, I'd have to double check. And it's bread. The answer is bread. I never knew that until I actually played the game. There's a lot of stuff I actually did not know until I actually played that game. That and Persona 3. Persona 3 was first, though, and when I played it and came to terms with that, I was like... I, ha I was at a point in my life where I was struggling to try to get back into going to school. However... That game changed that mindset. I was like, it made me so intrigued to learn more random things to the point where I actually did end up going back to school for a little bit. Now, I did not earn a degree or anything. It did emphasize on my desire to learn, though. And it continues to do so. For the most part, nowadays, I just kind of teach as I kind of learn as I go. Some things I actually am still taught by either teachers or people who are very wise. However, for the most part, I either teach myself things, if it comes to stuff like music or entertainment, by that or experience, or I learn from other people. It's a very interesting thing to think about, how much video games impact me in a more positive way than a lot of people, as I said at the beginning of this video, think. It's a very good stress reliever for me because those kind of things relieve me of a lot of stress. Those lead to those games are good examples of many games I can actually think of um, that lead to my mind going to certain points that end up clearing up my head of the bad or at least replacing the bad with a better look. That being said, I actually am going to leave this video here. I know, kind of an abrupt ending, but question for this video with you guys, what stress relievers do you guys have? What do you guys do to relieve yourselves of stress and clear your minds of anything bad? And 
what do you guys think about the whole video game thing that I'm talking about in this one? For me specifically, it works. It doesn't for everyone that I'm aware of. But what do you guys think? Is it a stress reliever or a waste of time? <laughs> I know a lot of people out there who find this are going to say it's a waste of time, but hmm. to each their own. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you did like this video, push that like button, and so far you can't sit it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel, because now I'm doing one of these type of videos, whether it's based off real life, and about me, or discussion and or rant, doing one every single day, along with a gaming video. Speaking of these live videos, if you want to check out either the about me's or the discussion and rants that I've done, I'll have a link to each of those on the sides of my head. However... For right now, I'm actually going to head off. I got to prep the nostalgia train for its next trip. But I hope to catch you guys in another video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.